hello guys welcome to my channel today and thank you for joining me so today we're going to carry on working on the ring bound journal i'll give you a little look at what we've done um, i've still not decided for the cover but I'll, i can do that at the end we're doing okay here all the pockets and the envelopes are embellished that's an internal page needs and then we've got the two journals so i'm going to do start on my pages for inside so i've just got some cardstock here and i thought for the first one i'd do like a policy you know flip up from both ends with a little bit of writing space there so what i want to do first is put some background paper on let's just have a look which one we want um, i think we'll go oh well, let's have that one it's one of my favorites that one with the and then we want paper to put on the flip. So let's have these yellow flowers, the daisies. Okay. Just pop them back in there. Right. So I've cut the page to size to fit into the journal. So I'm just going to trim off my edges here. I'm trying to get my video done, guys, because we've got workmen at the end of the road. So if it gets too noisy, I'll have to pause it till they go home later. <laughs> It's quiet touch wood at the moment, so let's see if I can just get this done. Right, okay, so I'm going to start by putting some paper just on my card, just my background. I don't know where my bin is, it's never behind me when I need it. Right, where's the card? I think we'll put this one on as the background piece. I haven't gone for card that's too thick because I thought I don't want to add much more bulk. I want to embellish rather than thicker cardstock because these are not going to be writing pages. I've got the journals in. I mean, this one will have a write little notebook, at, you know, flip up. But uh, yeah, I haven't gone for really thick card. I just thought this would be okay. And you know what I might do? Should I wrap that round for the back page? Yeah, let's do that rather than waste the page because you're not really going to see what's underneath it when I've finished embellishing it. You know, I don't know what I'm going to put on the reverse side. I've not decided yet, but we might as well make the most of this paper while it's fitting. And let's just... I like this finish when you wrap it round. I think it gives it a nice finish like that. And let's just trim it off. the end where's the end there it is right so there's our page let's just get rid of that now I want to make my little flip ups so I think I'm going to use a piece of card to do that with now did I get any card out I'm not sure that I did to be honest um have I got any oh yeah I've got some here right let's have a look at this so, by the time I've put my holes in, I think I need to trim that just a little bit narrower. I'm going to put it sort of over here, so when I put my holes in, okay, so that is about, so let's just cut the first one down. I always do the top one just a little bit longer and then it'll hang over, you know, the one underneath. And then if we put that one under there, like that, I'll just trim that down a little bit. That should be okay, I think, in theory. Let's have a look. So that one's going to go there and flip up. And then this one's going to go there and flip down. Right, so what I normally do is I normally just do a score line. Uh, where's my little score? Let's just see if I can use this one. Just then it's easier to, you know, to fold over. Let me just find, oh, where would that be now? <laughs> I'm just looking for my tool. I'll try this one. I'm going to do it one, two, three eighths of an inch. 
yeah that's fine and the same with this one uh, which will be that way it just gives you a bit you know what I'll do then is I fold it over and then I'll sew the paper the notebook into the top like that if you want to have your flap a bit longer obviously just leave your card stop that little bit longer so you've got room to to sew it in right let's have a look so if we put that there and then that one oh no that's too small see I've made it too small let's get another piece of card um, cut it too small never mind we can let's let's use that as a template just cut around it I want it so you know that one's overhanging the other let's just score that one and let's see see what that looks like uh, three eighths of an inch there we go right, let's try that see if that's any better yeah that'll be better because it hangs over there now I'm just making sure I've got enough room to put my I do want to put eyelets in right so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put some paper on the front so that's scrap we don't need that so let's put some of this paper on the front uh, which way around that way I think is it no it's that way make sure the flowers are the right way that down and then let's do the same with this one okay so I'm just going to cut around these Thank you to everybody who watched my flip through of my vintage journal. I had some lovely feedback. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. That was what I thoroughly enjoyed putting that journal together. Really did. It was um, took me a while, but yeah, I liked the end result. I was very happy with it. I had some lovely comments. Right, there we go. So what I want to do now, I might save them two little bits. Just put them over there. What I want to do now is to create some, uh, like a little flippy, scrappy notebook to go in there. So I've got some bits and pieces out here that I thought I could use. So let's just put some papers down. Just get... Let's just see how wide they are. It'd be better if I measured really, wouldn't it? It really would. Let's, if I just measure this first one and then I can cut all my papers down to the same size. I'll do some a bit smaller. Let's just... Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't want them right to the very end. Just trim a little. In fact, let's just take the edge off here. And let's take that off there that piece might be better yeah that fits in there just nice so let's just put a little mark where I need to put it um, about there not going to put too many in just a few it's just a little extra writing spot so there's one right let's put this one down to do the same oh actually I've got a bit of the edge left on there just get rid of that right let's cut this piece down then to do the same so there's two pieces and okay, let's have a piece of this I don't not bothered that you know it's summer long and summer short I like that sort of scruffy look if you like oops 
one will fit on there and then we'll just put that little scrappy piece in there right we've used that paper let's have a look what i can't remember what else i got out i just got some scraps of paper out let's put them there got some of this wrap paper let's just cut the ends off here and then let's just measure where we want to put it about there The end off there and then cut that in half let's see how rather than guess I'll mark it and then I don't have to do it all again so that'll fit in there so we want another one that size and just use your scraps for this you don't need to uh, use your good papers, I just use my scrappy bits, so I've used that one. Right, let's have a bit of this lined paper. Let's have a look at that, will that fit in there? You just need a little bit off the bottom. fit in so that's three and then another one for this side a little bit off the bottom again so that's four pieces and uh, what else have I got I've got some of this paper I was going to cut it off camera but then I thought I said I wouldn't do anything off camera so I didn't want to to do it I just thought it might have saved a bit of time but yeah so that is going to go in there right uh, what else did I get just a piece of coffee dyed like I said I don't want it too too thick just going to put a couple of little pages in because we've got them two journals for journaling in, haven't we? And I'll probably end up making another little notebook along the way. Some ephemera. Right, does that fit in? Yeah, so that's that one. And then I'm just going to use this little scrap piece here. Like I said, you don't have to all be the same sizes. Just make them... Right, I think that's all I'm going to put in. What else did I get? Yeah, that's all. I don't want to make it too chunky, so I'm just going to put that in. Like, let's just get rid of these scraps. Do you like my new board? Oh, I really need to try and keep this one clean. I really do. <laughs> so let's just put them into some kind of order. And then what I'm going to do is I've got my sewing machine at the side of me. I'm, I should have left a bit of a bigger thing, you know, a score line, I think. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to... Oh, I've put them the wrong way. They need to go that way. So you put them in back to front. So when you turn it over, you've got your flip there with your little notebook. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to bring in my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew these. So I've stitched them, so they're just like that now, they're just a little scrappy notebook I've stitched along the top there. So what I want to do next, I've got my page there, I'm just going to put some ink around the edge of here before I start sticking down. Just get... Okay, right. So what I want to do is I want to make the little, you know, the little circle for wrapping my string around. So let me just grab my pokey tool and just measure where I want it. I want to put it about there. Oh, I need some brads, don't I? Let's find some brads. I think I've got some just in front of me. Sorry for stretching over, guys. I'm just looking in this basket here. Yeah, I've got some there. <coughs> so 
so I want some circles so I've just got my little circle punch I think this is a one inch or three quarters of an inch and I'm just going to punch two circles out I should have put them through together shouldn't I so I've got my circle I'm going to punch back through again I should have put my circle on with it the first time but right so I've punched a hole in I'm going to put a brad in poke it through and then open it out at the back if you've never used these they've just got like two little prongs I'm sure you've seen them before and they just open out like that so that's going to be my first one and that's going to go there so the second one let's just cut that thread off uh, do I want that first one yeah I want the first one over the top so let's just measure where we want to put our hole just want it straight about there So I'm just going to get my other circle and punch through it again and then pop in another brad and then open it out. Now I do like to put something on the back of here to, so you can't see the brad so I might put some paper on the back of there. Did we have any of that paper left? Just have a little look what I've got. In fact, I might just put some. Should put some coffee dyed, or should we put some of the? Uh, should we put some of this? Would I have enough to do both? Yeah, I think I would. Let's put some of this paper over here just to hide that, and it just look a bit nicer, won't it, with some paper on? Gonna stick that there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I don't want to put glue on this new mat. I, can't, I meant to get something out to put underneath it. That's it. Oh yeah, it was driving me mad. My other one, it was rotten. With no matter how many times I scrubbed it, I couldn't get it clean. So I just decided to just get another one. Yeah, that looks better, doesn't it? With just that bit of paper at the top there so that's that one right have we got enough to do this one with let's have a look if we can make it fit yeah we should be able to so i'm just going to put some glue on here are we still recording guys yet <laughs> i remember to check my camera before i turned it on the battery and it's a good job i did because there was only 10 minutes on the battery plugged it I can use it I can charge it when I'm using it as long as I plug it in before I start it won't go off so I'm glad I checked it right okay so there we go so we've got let's just trim them papers a little bit at the bottom it's hanging over a little bit right so that's the top one and that's the bottom one that's going to go under there like that so I think what I'm going to do is just should I stitch it in uh, I can't decide whether I want to stitch it in you know if I stitch across there it's going to be tough to open isn't it I'm just going to put some glue on I'm just going to use I'm going to put some three in one on then just make sure that it'll stay on right where's my three and what there it is don't want definitely don't want this on my new mat <laughs> come on it takes ages doesn't it to come down the nozzle i've not used it for a while to be honest oh come on it's not blocked is it Oh yeah, it is actually. Let's see if that will work now. I think it's coming. Yeah, it's coming now. I had a lovely birthday. I've got to send some gifts. I will try and come on and show you. I've got some happy mail and some birthday gifts, which I was very grateful for. I'll try and come on and show you what I got. I'm going to put it over this end just as I, so I can put my holes in there right what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in 
one of these just while it's it's grabbing. Let's put some on this one. Come on. Okay, right, let's see where we want to put this. Yeah, that's right. As long as it's overlapping, I'm happy with that. Are we straight? Yeah, let's just press that down a little bit. Right, let's put the lid on the three and one, then that doesn't go all over my desk. Let's get another one of these. Pop that on the bottom. Right, so now I want some twine to do my closure. I've got this, it's like a cream with a bit of a gold speckle. Thought that would go nice. So what I do is I just wrap it round the top one. I just tie it in a little knot. I normally do two knots and then it, it won't come undone. Like that. And then I'm just going to trim that end bit. Like that. And then what I do is I just, I'll have to just take that one off a minute. I just go down. Oh, in fact, I'll cut it because I don't need it too long. It's a bit easier than trying to work with it on the reel. And then I, you just wrap it round. I go sort of left to right, right to left, like that. And then I, I like to leave the fastening at the top and then I just trim it off. Like that. So that is the, that is it, guys. I'm going to leave that on, actually. I'm going to put some holes in. Let's get one of these pages out. So I'm going to use this page because I can just to measure it where to put my holes. I put these seven by five. Right, which way are we? So with that way, I'm just going to have to take them off. I won't be able to, to draw on the... Right, let's just put our a mark where we want our holes. Pencil. Oh dear me. The sewing machine's right at the side of me, it's in the way. That pen will do. Right, let's just put one there and one there. And let's make our holes. I've got my things here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just put a hole in there. Oh, quite, <coughs> excuse me, I'm quite close to that edge. I don't want to obviously put a hole in there. There we are, I've done it. Right. Move that. I'm going to stick with my gold eyelet. this oh, some of these are really not good eyelets I've wasted I don't know how many of these gold ones they were only cheap ones from Amazon and some of them work fine but some of them are absolutely rubbish they just don't close let's see that one's closed because you can hear it but some of them I've thrown quite a few away that one Yeah, that one's worked. So there we go. There's our first page. Let's just have a little look what the notebooks look like. Yeah, so we've just got that scrappy little notebook there. And then another scrappy little notebook there to write on. So let's just tie it up again. I um, don't know if I want to put anything on the front of here. I wonder whether I could fit a little flower down the side maybe get my flowers and have a look you know just a little one at the top and at the bottom there have we got any small enough too big too big um, we only want a little one don't we oh that one will fit on we'll put that yellow one there and we'll have that one will that fit at that side yeah let's put them on so I'm just going to ink over it a little bit
just embellishes it a little bit, doesn't it? Just gives it a bit of something and I might put a little word on as well. Okay, just find a little word. What did we do with them words? There we are. Uh, which one shall we have? Let's have always. that side so I'm going to do on the other side and all I'm going to do on this side is just put on a little pocket on the side I'm going to keep it quite clean and simple I'm just going to get rid of that edge off there right let's get some papers uh, which one should we use um, oh I wonder if we can get the bird on let's have a look if we could get yeah let's go with that one let's just cut the end bits off oops <laughs> oh I've gone very cold all of a sudden it's a lovely day the sun's shining but it's quite cold well I'm cold I'm always cold I'm always freezing cold everybody else is always warm they go mad at me for having the central eating on all the time but I'm always cold lately I don't know why but yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me I hate being cold Right, let's have a look at where we can put this bird. Let's just put some glue on, see if we can fit it on. Yeah, I'm going to keep it bright. I'm going to keep it quite um, clean and simple. I'll make some pages and then I'll probably go through embellishing. I might make a bit of ephemera. I want to use most of the ephemera in the kit, if I'm honest. Right, I think I've got that bird on there. If I put that there like that, just make sure it's straight. Yeah, got lots of a lot of ephemera. <coughs> excuse me, with this this kit. So, I just would like to to make the journal with the ephemera that I've got. Really, I might add bits to it. We'll see. But yeah, it shouldn't take us long to do this. Just depends on how many pages you want to put in, really. Yeah, so that's all I want to do. And I've got that bird on. So let's just put them papers over there for a minute. <coughs> excuse me. Right, will that fit on there? Yep, yeah, that'll fit there nicely. So I'm going to put a thumb notch in. Uh, yeah, I think this one will be big enough. Yeah, and I'm going to put some ink around. Oh, I think I've left my lid off my glue. I bet it won't work now. We'll see in a minute. Let's just get my ink pad. Let's put some ink on. I think it needs re inking this one. It doesn't feel very juicy. Okay, there we go. Right, let's put you over there and let's glue this down. Yeah, I'm just going to stick that on there and then we can put something in the pocket. Put some glue on here. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's still working. I didn't realise I'd left the lid off. Okay. Let's stick that on there. I was thinking of putting some lace or something on there, but I don't think it needs it, does it? I think it looks nice as it is. Just to put something down there, maybe. I like that I think let's have a word if all else fails stick on a word which one should we have uh, that one okay just pop a little bit of ink on 
like I said at the end I might go through and add some bits of embellishments but I think that page looks okay as it is So I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm just going to pop it behind me for a minute. And the next two page, well, the next page that I thought I'd do was like a pocket page. Uh, I've got two pieces of my five by seven here. I thought we'd put some papers on, and then I'm going to stitch each side and just make a big side pocket page. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. So let's get some papers. Um, I wonder whether one sheet would do. I'm going to use that one and I'm going to use that one okay let's just get rid of the, the lines down the side we're only going to need one piece of each, one piece aren't we because if I'm sewing them together I'm only going to need something front and back aren't I silly me I'm thinking we need four sheets of paper no we only need because we're not going to see the insides right which one shall we use then um, I think I'm going to use this one here yep I was going to put paper on all four sides but they're going to be sewn together so you're not going to see it oh listen wake up glue on here and then I'll make a nice big journal card to go in here sorry if you can hear a little bit of noise they're doing some road works down the bottom of the road I thought they'd gone for the lunch but they seem to be back so I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy if it gets too much I will I'll pause the video and come back and do it later let's just put that on there like that okay I don't want to get glue on my new mat you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper uh, let's just find a piece in here use the back of one of these. I only want to glue this on three sides don't I? So which sides do we want to glue? I'm not thinking straight. I'm... Ugh, I was going to glue it all down then we wouldn't have a pocket would we if I did that. Right let's put that down there. Like that. And then let's wrap this over. Yeah, should make that pocket there. Let's just put this. I need to refill this up. There's not much glue in it. I'm going to stitch it so I'm not being overly fussy. Let's just make sure we get it in the crease. Fold it over and we're straight, yep. Put the lid on there, right, where's the end? Just fold it over then I can see the end bit. have a pocket there yes we have so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I've missed a little bit down there let's see if I can pop some ink on and hide that paper mustn't have been properly straight yeah that's okay you can't see it let's just ink around it and then let's just ink around the back Right, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to pause the camera, I'm just going to bring in my sewing machine and just 
quickly zip along the top and the bottom to make my pocket so I've done that so I've created my little pocket page now there let's just put a thumb notch in here and let's just put a little bit of ink on the back of there yeah so there we go nice pocket page there let's get some holes in here Where's my page under this mountain of stuff? So I'm just going to put my holes in. Let's get my pen. Oh, it's not straight. There we go. And I think I'm going to put a pocket or a belly band on the front. I think we'll put a belly band down the front of here. I think that's what we'll do but we'll have a look at some ephemera and see what ephemera I've got sorry for stretching over I'm just getting my eyelids Oops. it's not punch very well oh wrong side there we go that's better I think the glue is still a little bit wet. Right, let's do this one. It's easy to put my eyelets in before I start embellishing, then I know how far I can come over. Right, there we go so there's that page so we want to put something down the front and like I said we've got that nice pocket there now so I think I might put a belly band down the front of here let me just get out my ephemera because I still haven't fussy cut all of it I'm just going to see if there's anything on here that I can use as a belly band if not we'll make one yeah I've got pockets I've got them lovely flowers there I'll have to fussy cut them later file folders and they can be used as little tucks the hearts do you know what we could do oh they are we've got something there we can use as a belly band like three could be either a triple tag or a journal card so we'll use one of them i could use these hearts and do like a layered you know little tuck i might do that on one of the pages that might be an idea right let me just cut down one of these which one do i want We'll have that one with the butterfly. If we can keep the butterfly on, might have to trim it down a bit more. To be honest, just cut around it and see. Right, let's have a look at that. Oh, there we go. Perfect fit, made to measure. <laughs> let's just put some ink around it. and a little bit at the bottom just like so and then we'll put that on perfect fit that is and then I was thinking I could put one of them little hearts on as a little tuck couldn't I Where, where's the hearts gone let's have a look uh, let me just get my little scissors cutting this one here we'll have a look and see what it looks like it won't take me a second to cut around a heart oh, i wish i knew where my box was bear with me a second guys i'm just gonna have a look it's fallen under my desk anywhere let's oh, here here it is i knew it was about somewhere it just saves me picking everything up right let's put them bits in there around here 
was just thinking it might be nice as like a little tuck on the front of the belly band. I don't know whether it'll be a bit too wide. We'll have a look and see. What are you doing today, guys? I'm going to start work on my gothic journal later today, off camera. Yep, I'm looking forward to having a go. First one I'll have made. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that. Should I put it there and we can just stuff something behind it? Yeah, we'll do that. Just so something else on there. Just go around it. Okay. Right, where do I want to glue it? Just around this edge here. Even if it's just a little tag or a little journaling card or something, just something extra. Like that. Stick it on the belly band there. And then I'm going to get my, these words, these ones here, my Tim Holtz ones. I'm just going to put something on. Uh, what shall we have? We'll have that go where your heart is because, oh, go where your heart takes you, sorry. We'll put it at the top there while we've got that heart on the page. I think it'll just, just fit on there. Yeah, like that. And then we can tuck just something behind there. Then we've got that big pocket. So we want a journaling card, don't we? And then we'll want something on the back of here. And I think I'm going to do the same again. I think I'm going to put another belly band on the back whilst it's the same pocket. Uh, should we? Or should we put another side pocket on? What should we do? No, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put another belly band on the back of there. Do the same. My idea was, like I said at the beginning, just to showcase Anna's kit really. I didn't really want to be using any of my own ephemera or making. just wanted to make it with the ephemera that I've got, you know, in the kit. Because it's such a big kit. If you've bought it, you'll know how big it is. Right, is that the same length it should be? Yeah, that'll be fine. So let's do some inking around here. Yeah, so what are you up to, guys? Like I said, I'm going to start my journal this afternoon. I'm going to start getting my papers out. And it took me about, well, almost a week to do the fussy cutting. Because I've got a couple of kits that I'm going to work with. And yeah, it's took me a long time to do the fussy cutting. I can't do it all in one go. I have to do a little bit, then stop, then a little bit more. But I've finished it all now. It's all in a basket, ready to use. So yeah, might be a challenge because I've never done a gothic one before. I've picked some nice kits to work with. Which way does that go? That way. Yeah, that'll be nice, won't it, with a little tag or something underneath there and I think I'm going to do the same again I'm going to use another one of the hearts don't know how many pages I'm going to put in okay let's just cut around here yeah so I'm looking forward to starting another journal um, I'd like to do another like forest furry kind of one I loved working on that journal that was a big journal it took me a while to do but I'd like to have another go making one a bit different I've got an idea that I'd like to use for a cover I've got so many things I want to do but yeah there's plenty of time isn't there <laughs> just do one thing at a time concentrate on one thing at a time get carried away with thinking I want to do this and I want to do that and yeah okay and I'm going to do the same again I'm just going to put which way do I want the glue that way put a little bit of glue around and stick it there yeah, I think that looks okay, doesn't it? Like that. Let's get rid of that glue. 
and then we'll have another one of these we'll put that one with all my hearts while we've got the hearts on the page if I can get it off just stick that there the black and gold look, looks nice doesn't it I do like the black with this kit actually I'm not sure whether I'll have enough room to stitch round I might do I'll see how it goes so I want a journal card for in here don't I I think I might leave that till the end so that's another page done so where are we done now I think I'm going to call it a day there now for this video because otherwise I'll just get carried away we'll be on here for hours um, so we've done we've done that page there with the flip up and then we've got a pocket there and then we've got those two there so I'm quite happy with that I think that looks nice I'll have a think about what we can do on some of the other pages should I zoom in a little bit well, there we go then guys there's two pages done to go in the journal as always thank you so much for stopping by to watch and I'll see you all soon in my next video so take care bye